top stories. NUPW public march for NCC workers pending. Homeowner loses home to fire for a second time. And West Indies enjoyed their best day in the tour against South Africa. Welcome to Nation News for Friday, January 2nd, 2015. No matter where you are in the world, at home or abroad, Nation News keeps you connected with what's happening in Barbados. Through our website, video newscast, and online e-papers. So stay connected with Nation News. Your news, your time, your way. The National Union of Public Workers will be staging a public march on behalf of the retrenched NCC workers. Acting General Secretary Rosalind Smith said they were dissatisfied with the length of time it was taking to get the issue resolved and want to get a better deal for the workers. Ms. Smith was speaking at the meeting at the NUPW's Dalkeith headquarters on Friday with a total of 30 of those workers. No date has been announced. A Christchurch homeowner is counting her losses after losing a second home to fire on Thursday night. The two-story home of Albina Burke at Briar Hall was partially damaged by fire which started in her son's home. Um, Tanti Lake Shaka House smoking. And when I burst out, come out of my room, run to my front door, I saw the, um, the house in smoke. And from then, I just collapsed. I start screaming, 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 and I went round the back to get the hose. And by the time I get to the back, the same my son was pulling the hose, but he, you know, so nervous he pulled the hose, and the whole pipe wow. broke off. So then I start to scream, scream. I just run out and start to holler and begging for call the fire truck, call the fire truck. I, you know, I, I can't remember that. Yet another attempt is being made to revitalize Spidestown. This time it is in the form of a fiesta on January 17th in the historic Northern Town, an initiative of the Barbados Association of Tourism Employees. Member Hal Austin outlined the plans. The Spidestown fiesta which will be convincing on January the 17th, Saturday from 3 p.m. to midnight is going to involve a popular of entertainment in the Esplanade we're having the streets blocked off from Manger Walk to Gardens Alley, where we're going to be inviting all our indigenous local craft people to participate in this festival where we wish to attract both locals and tourists that are staying here. The home of the former public library and a 100-year-old chattel house in Bridgetown are the first two buildings earmarked by government to be restored. It is part of the Ministry of Culture's National Restoration Program. The library at Coleridge Street was closed in 2006, but Culture Minister Stephen Lashley said earlier a technical assessment revealed the building was in better shape than expected. Lashley said it would cost about $1.5 million to restore the building, which was built in 1906. In sport, West Indies enjoyed their best day in the tour against South Africa, scoring 276 for 6 at Stumps on Friday. There was no batting collapse, but no big centuries either. Leon Johnson and captain Denise Ramden both scored half centuries and Johnson reflected on the day's performance. Well, I'm totally happy with guys not carrying on to get the, the three figure scores but as a as a team we have to be happy with getting to 270 for the loss of six is the first time that we've batted 90 of us out in the, in the series so far so we're pretty happy with that yeah it will have to be our best day of the series and finally the operator of a street sweeping vehicle in New York who was spotted driving erratically on a highway has been arrested on a drunk driving charges New York State Police say Jerry Mitchell of Brooklyn was charged with aggravated driving under the influence and aggravated unlicensed operation on New Year's Day. Officials say he fled, driving 35 miles per hour with police in pursuit. He later stopped and surrendered when his blood alcohol level was recorded at twice the legal limit. That has been The Nation News for Friday and a Happy New Year to you. For more, log on to thenationnews.com as well as YouTube, Facebook and Twitter and look out for the weekend buzz.